Now we'll solve the one problem on a dominance principle. So here one problem is given uh, the player one and player two. Player one is having the three strategies and as well as the player B is also having the three strategies. First, once if you get the payoff, payoff matrix, you need to find the a saddle point. Why we know, so for each problem, for each problem, we need to find the saddle point. Because once if you find the saddle point, then we'll come to know about the, so what is the, so what will be the uh, game value as well as, as, as well as uh, what will be the, if there is a saddle point is present, then so that itself will be the value of the game. So depending on that, so we can delete the columns and rows. Okay. So in order to find the saddle point, first you need to identify the row minima 2 and 2 and 1. And for the column maxima 6, 8 and 8. Okay, now for the, okay, this one is the uh, maximin. This is the maximin. And this is the minimax. This is the minimax. Okay, here the maximin and the minimax values are different. So that is a 1 and 6. The value of the game will lies between 1 and 6. Okay, now we'll start with the dominance principle. What is the dominance principle says? A dominance principle. Okay, if you compare the row wise, so if the R1 is dominating the R2, then we need to delete the R2. If you are comparing the column wise, if the column 1 is dominating the column 2, then you need to delete the column 1. <coughs> okay, now, okay, just compare the column wise. Uh, step number 1 is column wise. Okay, first, if you compare the column wise, column 1 and column 3. So, that is the strategy B1 and B3. Okay, column 1 element is 2 is lesser than 3. 2 is lesser than 3. And the 6 is lesser than 8 and 4 is lesser than 6. Okay, here a column 3 is dominating. Okay, at the same time, actually we are supposed to compare first C1 and C2 also. C1 is a 2 is lesser than 8, whereas the 6 is greater than 2. If you get the two symbols, then so do not proceed. So you can cancel the comparison of those two particular columns. So C1 and C2 is discarded. But if you compare the C1 and C3, then all the elements of the C3 are greater than uh, all the elements of the C1. Then C3 is dominating. C3 is, do column 3 is dominating. So then delete C3. Then delete C3. Whichever the column is dominating, that you need to delete. In the row wise, so whichever is the dominated by some other, so that a lesser value element that row should be deleted. Okay, now, okay, now we cannot compare the <coughs> C1 and C2 because already it is discarded. Now we can go for the comparing the uh, first row and second row. First row and second row. Okay, this is the first row. This is the second row. Okay, now we, here we can see that 2 is lesser than 6, whereas the 8 is greater than 2. So we cannot compare the row 1 and row 2. We cannot compare the row 1 and row 2. Okay, next we can go for the R1 and R3. Okay, 2 is lesser than 4 and the 8 is greater than 1. 8 is greater than 1. Again, we cannot go for the comparing the R1 and R3 also. With the, which is the remaining option now. So, now we are supposed to go for the R2 and R3. Okay, here one more thing is there. So, we cannot compare the only the values what they are given. Even there is a one option that in the dominance principle that even you can take the average of any two rows and that can be compared with the any other row or the any other column also. So average of the any two row or the any two columns can be compared with the any one row or the any one column. So like that also we can delete. Like that also we can delete. With such type of problem I will explain in, in the next session. Okay, now if you compare the R2 and R3, a 6 is greater than 4, 6 is greater than 4, as well as the 2 is greater than 4. It means that, it means that R2 is dominating R3, okay, which is a lesser, lesser one, so R3 is lesser, we can delete the 
R3. You know what is the remaining matrix? What is the remaining matrix? Okay, now the remaining matrix with the only 2 by 2 matrix so that we know that how to solve the 2 by 2 matrix because we already we have solved the n number of problems. Okay, remaining matrix is the first letter is A1, A2 and the B1, B2, B1, B2, 2, 8, 6, 2. Okay, now by solving the either algebraic method or the analytical method you can get the values. Okay, for this uh, for where difference is 4 and for this the difference is 6 so okay total is a 10 total is 10 so then it is a 2 by 5 is that equal to 2 by 5 and this is a 3 by 5 okay the same way the same way for the q1 and q2 difference of these two is a 6 and difference of these two is a 4 again the value will be 3 by 5 a probability will be 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 once if you get the probabilities then we need to get the value of the game now i will compare uh, multiply the p1 and p2 with the first column p1 and p2 with the first column there so that is 2 by 5 into 2 plus of 3 by 5 into 6 okay this is the 4 by 5 plus of 18 by 5 so total it will be 22 by 5 22 by 5 is nothing but the 4.4 4. okay 4.4 4. so what was the minimax and maximum values so 1 and 6 so we are stated the earlier that is the value of the game will be lies between 1 and 6 so 4.1 lies between the 1 and 6 this is the way we need to reduce the matrix by the dominance principle and get the value of the game thank you